Hey guys, Coach P. Remember that guy Arnold Schwarzenegger? You know, the guy that made bodybuilding what it is today? Remember how big and massive he was? I'm gonna show you how he did it. Right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to Championship Muscle. I'm gonna show you how to build that chest that you're gonna be proud of, regardless of how old you are. But I want you guys to remember one thing. When you're younger, handling barbells and dumbbells are a lot easier. I did it back in the day, barbell bench, incline bench, dumbbells, whatever. But I'm 57 years old, so I've learned to modify the movements. But I modified these movements using machines and some cable work. And I'm gonna show you the basic exercises that are necessary, not all this fancy shit you see these people doing, the basic fundamental chest building exercises. The same exercises that Schwarzenegger and all the guys from the golden era and the way I was taught how to do it, to build that massive chest. Follow me over to this exercise. We're gonna start with a machine, because I told you I've modified my training. We're gonna start with machine bench presses. I'm reducing my risk of injury because machines are only made to do one thing, what the machine's made to do. I put a moderate amount of weight. I've only got a quarter on each side. But remember, I'm a drop set guy. So I am gonna start doing a high rep set and then I'm gonna strip the weight and do another high rep set, strip the weight, do another high rep set. But for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna do one set with a quarter on each side. So here we go. I get into the machine and I set myself up to make sure that the movement is gonna hit my pecs. I want my middle pecs hitting this movement. And what I want to do is, I don't want my elbows to be down, I want my elbows to be up to benefit from the stretch from this exercise. So I start and I push. And as I'm pushing, I'm engaging my pec muscles and I'm squeezing at the, at the end of the repetition. I go down, squeeze the pecs, it's all controlled. I'm not bouncing this weight. I push, I engage the pecs, I squeeze, and I come back down. Just like this. My elbows are being pulled up to the sides. They're not dropped. I'm not engaging my front delt. I'm using my pecs. And I'm squeezing every repetition at the top. So if I'm drop setting this, my first set is going to be at least 25 reps. And then I would strip some weight off each side. I'd get back into the machine and I would do reps to failure. And again, I'm repeating myself, failure does not have a number. It's when the muscle tells you I'm spent. You stop, you take some more weight off and you get right back into the movement. And again, you do reps to failure. So let's just say I hit that magic number right now, okay? I'm at 25. I stop, I would get up, strip some plates off, get right back into the exercise, reps to failure, repeat it, pull some weight off, get back into it, reps to failure. I might do that two or three rounds of that drop set, and then I move on to the next exercise. Follow me over to the incline bench press. This is gonna work the upper pecs. Again, for demonstration purposes, I've got a quarter on each side. But if I was gonna drop set, I might have three quarters on here, or I might have four or five tens on here. It doesn't matter, you do the weight that you know you can handle to give you those reps. So, I get in the machine. I set up, I make sure the angle is right with the seats adjusted and I push up, squeezing my chest muscles at the top, and I'm controlling the weight going down, up and down. Steady, continuous repetitions. I'm not dropping this weight. You drop this weight and lose control of it, you can tear your pecs. That's the last thing you want. Nice, slow, and steady repetitions. Now remember, on your second exercise, you're not gonna be as strong as you are on that first exercise, so make sure you use weight that you can handle. Nobody gives a shit how heavy you're lifting. Only you should. 
your main concern is to get those reps, to get that muscle in those chest muscles on fire. You want to get that burn going. And when you're done, you would come here and strip some plates off. Get back into it, do another set, strip some plates off. You'd rest up a minute or so, and you'd start it all over again. Two or three rounds, depending on your conditioning. If you're new to drop sets, take baby steps. Just do one round of this, one round of the chest press, until you get conditioned enough to do these exercises. And in time, you're gonna find that you're able to add more weight and you'll be able to do more drop sets in time. This is not a, a race. There's no reason to rush through this. Your body is gonna tell you when it's time to increase the weight, increase the amount of drop sets, and, and, and it's a win-win situation. You're not gonna get hurt doing this. Let's go to the decline press. This is gonna work your lower pecs. I've got the, sh the seat in a position for me where I can control this weight and get the stretch that I want. And I'm gonna push, again, squeezing my pecs. I control the weight going down, squeeze the pecs. At the top, you squeeze the pecs, control the weight on the way down, squeeze the pecs. And these are all reps to failure. Controlled reps. This is not a race to do as many reps as fast as you can like the moron that was on his bench before I got here. This guy was going freaking crazy like he was ready to fucking fly off a building. You want to do this controlled. Controlled. Squeezing and controlling. Just like this. And when you reach that failure number, you get up off of the bench, strip, go back into the bench, do another round to failure, get off it, strip, go back into the bench. So we are gonna go set up some cables now and I'm gonna show you how to do a standing cable press or a modified dumbbell fly. So follow me over here. All right guys, here we are at the cable machine. Back in the day, I used to do a lot of dumbbell flies. Dumbbell flies are very effective. But what happens as you get older, you gotta worry about that balancing factor and if you have shoulder injuries. So I've steered away from dumbbell flies and I've come over to the cables. And you can do cable crossovers. I like doing cable presses. I think they're more effective. So watch how I do these. I pick a weight that I'm comfortable with, that I know I can get my repetitions that I want. I take a step out from the, from the cable machine. I rotate my hands like I'm doing a bench press and I go forward. And right here, I'm squeezing my pecs and I control the resistance going back like a negative. And I push forward, just like this. Every repetition, is controlled. This is all chest work. I'm not using any other body parts to force this weight forward. Every repetition is controlled and it's a squeeze at the end. And when I hit my magic number, I come over, I drop the weight, make it a little bit lighter, and I get right back into it, squeezing the pecs. My shoulders and elbows are parallel to the floor. I'm not like this, and I'm not like this. I'm parallel, squeezing, pushing outward and squeezing, just like this. Just like this. Now, a more advanced method of doing this is a one-arm cable press. Pull the weight, I usually put my hand over my pec, and I push outward, just like this. It's the same movement, you're just using one arm at a time. 
just like this. And when I hit that magic number, I switch over and I grab the other cable. I put my hand over my pec and I'm squeezing just like this. Okay? Okay. These are the basic exercises that I've used over the years. Like I said, I've modified from doing barbells and dumbbells. There's nothing wrong with them. They're very good, effective exercises. I'm 57 years old. As I got older, aches and pains, injuries, I've gone to the machines. They're very controlled movements, and I still get the workout and the pump and the stretch that I want from doing those weights. Well, I'm sorry, those machines with the proper weight. So, to wrap this up, I'm a product rep for Gene Pro. It's a great protein supplement. It's veteran owned. Use Coach P in the discount box. Get yourself 15% off on your order. It's been a definite game changer for me. I'm type two diabetic. It has no effect on my blood sugar. I train fasted in the morning. Put a scoop of my iced coffee, drink it down. An hour later, I'm at the gym training. No bloat, no gas. Great workout. I really highly recommend it. Again, I got a book out, Untold Secrets of Bodybuilding. It is on Amazon. Get yourself a copy. It's getting five-star reviews. Everyone that has gotten this book has, has responded to me, has contacted me, telling me how much they've loved it. It's everything they've always wanted to say, but never said it. I'll take the credit. I said it. It's a great book. Get yourself a copy. So I'm here for Fitness for 10 over in Brandon, Florida. I love training in this facility. I love doing video in this facility. And I hope to see you guys at the next workout. Please like, subscribe, and share. Until then, you guys have a great day. Peace out.